Hi everyone, this remodel is done. Allow me to refresh your memory. This is a 1500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, attached garage home that was originally built in 1973. At first order, we had to replace the roof and add the A-frame front porch. Since this house sits with a yard in front of it, this will be where the family will gather. Uh, this unit is also a long-term rental, so renovation costs were a concern, and we opted to maintain some of the original features, which we will discuss as we progress. The kitchen was one of these features. The cabinets are in good shape. Um, they just didn't look right with these modern poles and the countertops. We replaced the poles with poles from Home Depot. These were inexpensive, but they look great on these cabinets. They seem to fit perfectly and they give it a little pop. The countertops we replace with uh, these butcher block countertops, which really warm up the environment and give it that sort of country farm appeal. The other big job in this house was the bathrooms. They were terrible. So we gutted them. This gave us 120 square feet and we were able to build two bathrooms. The first one is a tub shower combination with a double vanity. And the other one is the ensuite with this walk-in shower and the single vanity with a barn door into the bedroom. Here you have the popcorn being removed from the ceiling. This was a job that had to be done. And this is also when we opted not to replace the paneling with drywall. This was going to be an added cost that uh, eventually felt unnecessary. We were able to fix and repair this paneling and repaint it, retrim it, and make it look great. We added lighting and smoke detectors to code in all the bedrooms. Here you go. The rooms are now lit up. Um, the paint job looks great. We also replaced the doors, which were flat slab doors, and they were primarily in bad shape, but these new doors, um, again, bring some new element to the house and they look fantastic. I can't say it enough, the color on the walls is Alabaster by Sherman Williams. I absolutely love this color. It's just white enough, but yet warm. And the back wall here, which is our feature wall, is called Crack Pepper. We also put this on the doors. It is not a black, it is a dark, dark charcoal gray, and it looks fantastic. 